Hello to everybody on the other side of this party. And to the ones that are on this side of the party, how you doing? I bet you ain't doing so great now. Now this piece of shit Nazi motherfucker has slammed into your all's portion. That's right. Right at the very beginning of the days, he stopped the pipeline. And you fools voted for him. So for you, I will feel no sorrow when you're out of work. Can't pay the bills or start losing shit that you should have thought about the first place. Thanks for helping insert this piece of garbage into the most sacred place in America, the White House. I think George Soros is going to cough up the billions of dollars needed to pay our brand. Because he's part of the party. That's right. They already want to go back to the JPEG. Yeah. Wrong move. There's a person from the Obama administration that told everybody Joe Biden belongs nowhere near foreign policy because every time he did anything with foreign policy, he messed it up. And get this, he said he's going to stick to his word. And here's one proof of his failure to be in charge of foreign policy. He's going to pay a country that says death to America. What? Pay somebody that says death to America. Hmm. This is proof. Beijing Bunker Biden's mind is fully, not just partially, but fully gone. And that's the part you say build back better. If that's building back better, then we're going back to the Obama days. Whoops, wasn't so great back then, was it? And the proof is in the pudding. You got more Latino, Cuban, Black, and Asian voters to come to be woke up to your insanity. You were not voted in, boy. You were installed in. Everybody knows what happened with the election. Everybody. And Trump hasn't conceded yet, has he? That tells you, yeah, we know you were installed in the sacred place of all, the White House, for four years. Communist News Network, Communist Broadcasting System, and Neo-Nazi Broadcasting Communications spewed hate. Yeah, I said it. All three of you are owned by China. We know how much stock they have in your communications. It's been proven. We've been woke to your bias. We've been woke to the hate. Who paid you for the hate speeches you all made? You all produced hate. Here's proof positive. The 
because you gotta hate somebody to make a stupid deal like this. Yeah, I said it. You're stupid. But also, I gotta tell you, bless your heart. That's a southern thing. I'm not a Christian. But at least I can thank God for the years that I have been in the United States. Not under all this preaching of hate that you all do. That's right. I said it, Democrats. You are the hate preachers. Not us. And you hate us Americans too. Because instead of trying to help Americans... You're doing this bullshit. Where is everybody's help? Oh, that's right. You had to take a snow day, right? I want to say thank you to TFI and Doug Tenable for bringing the news that I can give my personal opinion on, but I don't have to worry about my speech. Or my language because I'm not monetized. So fuck you. Uh, Biden lovers. This is just part of the proof. Beijing Bunker Biden. That you're in the back pocket. Of the CCP. Yeah I said it you cocksucking piece of shit. You're in the back pocket of Xi Jinping, old Pooh Bear. Don't like it? Sue me. Yeah, we already know you made the trip over to China before you even became inserted into the White House. What's this? Huh? Y'all have got to see this one. Yeah, you have to see this one. You may see reports about China training Indian journalists or paying millions of dollars to American media firms for pushing China's agenda. In Australia's case, China has, of course, tried to infiltrate the country's systems completely. But you will never hear a word about Japanese media. Gotcha. Positive proof. You all preach nothing but hate. Democrat supporters. Yeah. Mainline media. That's who I'm speaking of. You all were the ones that preached it. You all have been caught with your hand in the cookie jar. And I guarantee you. If we actually could get into your bank accounts, I grant you, we'd find every one of you being paid by the CCP with their take on propaganda here in the United States that you all want to freaking push. Let me make a correction. Fucking push. I'm not going to be polite. Because politeness went out the fucking door with my give a shit. So I don't want to hear no more of this Trump or haters or terrorist. <laughs> you are the one or the terrorist supporters. I'm going to take a guess, a gander. That Joe Soros is going to pay for you rejoining the JCP because he'd like no more to see America fail and become a Bernie bro state of mind and practice. So Xi Jinping can just laugh. You back pocket Beijing Biden bunker mother. I've done proven that all that de 
DC riot on the 6th was at your hands. That's right. I said it. And it don't mean no QAnon crap either. Two and two make four, motherfucker. Not six or eight. And logic is nothing more than fact. Jack. You want proof? Go to my first video. Where I say DC riots are a hoax. You're not afraid of us. You're afraid of BLM because you didn't hold that meeting. Oh, what about Ice Cube? What about his meeting? Did you forget about him too? Of course you did. That's why you wasn't going to meet him in the first place. Trump did. Because he cares about America. He wanted to put something forth. Not to where they got to come back every year and beg on their knees. And grovel. For a little bit of cash and help. Something you in the Obama era haven't accomplished. I have went through all 57 of your executive orders. But that might be one of them. You might have knocked them out of money. Hmm. Maybe I need to study up on all 57 of your executive orders. I know why you consider China less of a threat than Putin. Because they're already in your back pocket. But Putin isn't. In that little piece about China spending money on the media over here is just proof positive you all had their narrative in mind to spew out hate hate is all they wanted you to spew out and you did so congratulations but I don't know how far that's going to get you we count your town hall meeting where you slipped up and okayed G to commit genocide. That's correct. You spewed your own beans, Beijing bunker Biden. Yeah, America's guilty of a few things like that in the past, but they weren't widespread like they were in Germany and then Wingzong province of the Uyghurs. You showed your hand. You're in the back pocket of Xi Jinping Poobar. In fact, I'm going to see if I can't spend just a moment while I'm holding the pause button on my record to find that town hall meeting so everybody can see that didn't watch that may watch this video here's the proof you okay genocide Beijing Bunker Biden Jinping is that there must be a united tightly controlled China and he uses his rationale for the things he does based on that. I point out to him, no American president can be sustained as a president if he doesn't reflect the values of the United States. And so the idea, I'm not going to speak out against what he's doing in Hong Kong, what he's doing with the Uyghurs in western mountains of, of uh, China, by making it forceful. I, I said, and by the way, he said, he, he gets it. Culturally, there are different norms in each country, and they, their leaders are expected to follow. Now tell me if this don't remind you of something. Uh, maybe 1939, when he takes the chancellor's office. Oh yeah, let me not fail to uh, bring this to... Uh, 
to everybody. They said, did the sun come out? This was CNN. The sun come out because Joe Biden being nominated. Hmm. Record shows. So did the sun. Or guess who? Adolf Nazi Hitler. So suck on that one, CNN. When he says, do something, you say, how high do I jump? You okay this man to commit genocide? Hmm. What's that say about you, Biden? Shows you how much further he is in your back pocket than we are aware of. You remind me of that old movie, Frankenstein, where they got the abnormal brain and put it in you. We already know your brain's slipping. Beijing Bunker Biden, bitch. To me, this is you and Joe Biden on your snow day. Let's see the contrast of the differences between you shaking a hand with Beijing and uh, our president, Mr. Trump. Let's make a comparison. I only need to show one of Trump, but I'm going to show many of yours. See how delighted you and Beijing are? Hmm? See? You love Xi. You're all smiles with that glee. Beijing Bunker Biden. You're just so happy to be in the back pocket. Actually, you're just so happy he's in your back pocket. I've been stating it all wrong. Uh, that's how irate you make people. And that's the intent. But I'm not going to let you. I'm just going to show everybody the truth. And cuss you. Like I want to. And if you was in front of me, motherfucker, I'd call you a fucking Nazi right to your motherfucking face and your eyeballs. And dare you to jump. And I'm 50 some year old. So I'm not that much younger than you. Boy. Oh, that reminds me. You were talking all that fucking shit about beating up Trump. Why didn't you do it? You got mad. When you were, uh, yeah, on the campaign trail, remember all those statements you made? But when it came down to uh, the debates, you got mad there. Why didn't you jump, frog? I know why. Because, you know, Trump would have bitch slapped you. You'd have went, Jill, help me, help me, Jill. So all you leptards, no. Boo hoo, wah wah wah, all you want to. My give a fuck is broke. To those who enjoyed my video, please leave a like or comment. But the ones I'm really waiting on is the leptards that want to make them. Boo hoo, wham, wham, wham remarks. But I will re be reading them. Every single one of them. Good or bad. But it doesn't mean that I won't uh, give a like to the comments that are, you know, the ones that understand the Constitution of the United States is at risk. But the others, oh, I won't give you no lack. But you ain't gonna like what I got to say back to you if you make a comment, you snooty little bitches.
to those who liked my video, have a nice day, and thank you for watching.